All right. Now we've got Love Tashia. How are you today? I'm doing great. I am uh, so grateful for life, celebrating Earth Day today and all her wonder. And so delighted to be again with her many voices and you and my sister Aisala for this wonderful, wonderful event. Thank you to all of the people who work so hard to make it happen. I tell Thank you, you. I, I'm looking forward to one day seeing this on HBO. It should be <laughs> everywhere because it's such a powerful presentation and there's so much medicine that y'all bring through this portal. So I'm happy. Well, we're grateful you came back for this year. Yes. I'm going to uh, remove myself now and let you have at it. Okay. Well, welcome everyone. And first of all, thanks to Aisala, her many voices, my family and community and supporters. And of course, thank you to the earth because we couldn't be here. We couldn't do what we are doing today without the earth. And I want to give honor to her today, her resilience, her strength, her compassion, right? Because without the earth, where will we be every day, right? And I also want to thank the people who fight for her survival and her sustaining. Um, one of my uh, godsons, my many children, I call it, his name is Etep Hotep Vita, DJ Cavum, and he's dropping a new album today. So if you check him out, uh, his music is all about sustaining the earth all about doing positive work on the planet and sustaining the planet. So he's a rapper, he's a vegan chef, and I just ask all of you to support him and to learn more about what he does. I also want to acknowledge the One Small Planet organization. I just started working with um, this organization and the beautiful uh, and powerful and transformative work that they're also doing to support permaculture and vegan uh, vegan lifestyle, health, you know, promoting health and wellness uh, in collaboration with many organizations such as my own, Ile Ori Agbe Egun, I Teach Love Institute, Innate Foundation, all of us who are doing our work out here to make the planet better. I just want to celebrate you and acknowledge you today. I also want to recognize the spiritual guardians of Mother Earth, especially my beloved Orishas, Eshu. Obatala, Yemoja, Shango, Oshun, Oya, Angayu, Olokun, and Nana, right? Where would we be without the blessings that you bring to the earth every day and the ways that you sustain our earth every day? We give thanks to you. And before I read an excerpt of my original play, Under the Seba Tree, I want to acknowledge all of my family and allies who support me every day. Because just to walk the earth in brown skin is a journey of resilience, determination, and courage. But to walk the planet in brown skin and a thick body <laughs> and love yourself, that takes like Cleopatra-like strength, right? I was going to say Herculean, but Cleopatra-like strength to be able to love yourself in the process of that. So it's a miracle to just survive, right? To not be, you know, go into the belly of the beast and disappear and disintegrate, but to survive and to thrive. That is, that takes a lot of work. So I give thanks to all of those who support the planet, who support me, Noble Trinity Enterprises, the House of Pinky, all of those that I love who are doing this work to make the planet better every day. And I want to share one last thing. I want to share the link to my blog. And if you like this beautiful headpiece that I'm wearing today, it's by a black woman owned business called House of Pinky. And it's a beautiful piece that you can shape and move like you want. As y'all see, I'm rocking my shrines on my neck. And these are designed by spirit. <laughs> so I give thanks for spirit. Um, but I also finally want to share the link to my blog, blackwomenchronicles.com. And this page, this blog is part testimonial, part inspiration, and all kick butt real life stories about black women who are not only surviving, but thriving. And I want to share a message to my sisters, all of my sisters, and especially my young 
black sisters. We live in a society that sometimes uses the blessing of our technology as a means to amass wealth. And there's nothing wrong with wealth. I love prosperity. It's a beautiful thing, except for when it is earned by intentionally demeaning, destroying, or oppressing certain groups of people. All women, but specifically Black women, have in particular become a commodity. Our bodies, hair, lips, skin, culture, and sexuality is exploited, manipulated, and cashed in on with no consideration for how it affects our psyche or our future. So instead of judging, today I want to speak an intention into the universe and into the spirit of every woman that you will see and recognize your divinity, not through name brands or financial status, but through the sacred that lies within you. You, my beloveds, are the oceans, the rivers, the sunflowers blossoming. You are the diamond, the waterfall, the sun rising and the moon setting. Know that your value is not connected to or directed by any outside thing, but that which is in yourself. And so it is. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Check out that blackwomanchronicles.com. I put the link in the chat. So hopefully they'll share it in the comments so everybody can tap into it. And I want to give to you now an excerpt from the play Under the Seba Tree, a Black self-love chronicle by Love Tashia Asante. If you want to learn more about my work, you can also go to my website at officialtashiaasante.com. So Under the Seba Tree, the Black self-love chronicles, is a play about the journey of Onyx, a young woman from the city of Bling, blam, boom, who wakes up in a small town called Fizzle Flop after her bus accidentally leaves her behind. No one looks or talks like her in Fizzle Flop. She has no money or clean clothes or food. And she meets a man named Kosen Rufu who teaches her about her divinity and how spirits called angel verses can help her survive the unsurvivable. Under the Seba Tree is a story of self-acceptance, healing, and empowerment. Under the Seba Tree affirms our individual identities and teaches us the power of loving and accepting ourselves. Onyx. Onyx Spring was born under the moon where her mother was sleeping. She is the daughter of midnight and the sun of a new day. She loves in colors that never fade. Her breath is an oath of sweet mint, slow bucks, and morning coffee. She has arrived to fulfill the hope of seven generations. Traveling on rainbow wheels from the city of bling, bam, boom, Onyx chats with the passenger while chomping on a bite of wisdom and a bowl of green. What are you eating? A young boom asks. Apples and leaves. I eat life. I have to feed the rivers in me. Food for teeth, heart, spirit, and bones. What you be eating? I ain't from the boom. We eat what they give us in fizzle flop. Are you saying that you can't walk up to a tree and ask for an orange, a grapefruit, or an avocado? Your mama don't talk to plants about what you need for your temple. My mama never met no plants. She don't even know their names. Well, let me introduce you to parsley, basil, mint, and a pretty flower called rosemary. They eat water, prayers, and sunlight. And they love it when people read the poetry of Maya, Nikki, and Sonia. On good days, you should put them outside and give them their dessert. It's called rain, and the sky serves it with a rainbow and two scoops of sun. 
The rainbow wheels hiccuped and screeched to a stop. Smoke rose from the hood of the vessel and shouted, no oil, no water, no more engine. The driver announced, welcome to Fizzle Flock. We're gonna get the rainbow some juice and we'll be heading back to the boom soon. Don't miss the bus. Onyx emerged from her cocoon wearing a purple bandana tied over ebony curls sprouting from a curious brain. She feet touched the warm asphalt. She looked right and then left. She stick her tongue out and taste the air. She swaddled the scent of pollution, sweat, and somebody's old cigar. And everybody in that place was flopped down on something. She eyes me a sign on the side of the street that read, Fizzle Flock, population 333. She strolled to the funny side of Fizzle Flock, place where souls were dim and their lights were low or non-existent. Residents of Fizzle Flop stomped on their brakes, Steiner, still a glance of her electric presence. Onyx is as curvy as the winding road, tall and mysterious like pyramids in Giza, graceful as a gazelle leaping across the dry earth in the Serengeti. Her eyes are the shape of canes gliding over a crystal pond. She searches for a tree to hug. Back home, the trees were always the first friend to greet you in the morning. She follows a trail of leaves to the root of an ancient, and judging by his rings, he was at least 10,000 years old. The Saba squinted its eyes, massaged its long brown beard, and asked, Onyx, is that you, child? Your chariot then lost its juice in the fizzle flock. I'm sorry, where are my manners? Welcome to the fizzle. Me and my family are the air here. We are the only reason they breathe in fizzle flock. Mr. Sabah Tree, never seen one of you outside of the bling, bam, boom. How's your mother, father, sister, brother, grandmother? How is everybody you love? You looking mighty fine today. Your leaves are a glorious green. And then she looked as the Saba tree brushed its leaves over her skin like an affectionate comb. Onyx leaned in and smelled the rich bark and roots of that giant who sprouted to life between the stars and the moon. She lay her flat palms on the body of the tree. Let him speak to her about the days unfolding in the months to come. The Sabah tree lifted her up on its branches and whispered the last message of the ancestors. Fate has delivered you on the shores of a strange land, one with no bling, blam, boom. You're in fizzle flop place where the sun hides itself every two hours. And people of this city have little compassion for others and live in fear of everything. They especially fear people who look like you. I ain't scared of no fizzle flop. I can change their hearts from ice to a crackling fire with three snaps. Not even collard greens cooked in love with organic cornbread, black eyed peas, and Louisiana hot sauce could wake the fizzles from their flock. You better eat and eat well, beloved. This is a town where people get hungry. I bring the
Tashia, if you can hear me, you're on mute. I, I'm being trans, transformed here and we lost you, Tashia. We lost you. Can you hear us now? Tashia, can you hear us now? You're still muted. Oh. I was in a whole new place. I was. I was. I, I to was. The flip flops. I was. There. I was transformed. <laughs> I, I'm sitting here with my eyes closed. <laughs> Oh, Tashia, come back. Please. I need to know what happened. Oh, boy. So, Mikey, am I live at this point? Yes. Okay. All right. Tashia, can you hear me? Can you hear? You're on mute. There we go. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Go, go back because we All lost right. you and we were being transformed. Oh. <laughs> All right. All I was right. writing so, the flip flops. That <laughs> <laughs> he said I was in the fizzle flops. <laughs> so uh, I just want to give you all about another page of this. We have like five more minutes. Yes. And I really want you to go with me. Welcome back. If you're tuning back in. I really want you to go with me to this part of the city because something magical is getting ready to happen in Fizzle Flop. And it's so important for Onyx's healing and the healing of the planet. So will you go with me? Absolutely. All Keep right, going, girl. We're with you. All right. I'm going to take you back. So the saber tree squinted its eyes and massaged its long beard. And Onyx told them again, I can help them see me. I'll invite them to swim in warm blue oceans. I'll comfort them during a quiet sunrise. I'll feed them greens of fields of green vegetables and the nectar of ripe mangoes. They'll forget all about the brown velvet skin. I move in, in the fizzle flop. It's hard to fill a cup already full, then we must empty their cups and fill them with bling from the minds of geniuses. Blam and savoir faire of the stroll of cheetahs, boom from the hearts that beat with the mercy of the most high. I see you know who you are, but do you know who you aren't? Fizzle flop been like this for only over 20 million years. I'm here on an assignment. My bus broke down, but my engine never stopped running. I'll take the people somewhere hate can't live. Tread lightly and come back and get a bite of wisdom when your battery gets low. Here's a seed in case you need some extra light for your return. So I wanna stop there and maybe I'll come back and do a fundraiser for her many voices and perform this whole entire play, which is about an hour long. But I just wanted to take y'all on a trip to the land of Fizzle Flop from bling, blam, boom, and teach y'all one thing about this spirit called Onyx. And that is no matter what you've gone through, no matter what you've experienced, you can redefine and rechart your future by going inward. And that is what this story and this production is all about. Tapping into the locomotive like power that dwells within you and dwells within all of us. And I wanna leave you with this. We have like three minutes, yes host? All right, all right. They wonder, 
how I memorize rituals from five lineages, decode the whispers of 6,000 year old secrets, make life-saving elixirs nobody taught me how to mix, squeeze words in the books and turn selfies into dope pics, create magical tinctures from spit and dandelion juice, stop genocidal viruses with a single odu. Oh, Yekumeji, feed the masses with the bottom leaves of kale. Reboot dead kidneys with parsley and ginger ale. Yeah, they wonder. They will always wonder. And I want to stop there just to honor the time. But I thank you, her many voices, for this powerful portal that you bring to the world on Earth Day. And we just speak healing to the planet. We know that the healers across the world are convening in their own ways, from the 13 indigenous grandmothers to the healers in Africa, to the healers across the world in Bahia and in the Americas. We are all doing our work to uplift her, to heal her, to sustain her. Let it be done. She is healed. She is in balance. She is exalted, she is remembered, and she is given thanks for. And so it is. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. I love y'all. And if you have any questions, I don't know if anybody posted in the chat, um, but I just want to send love to all those who supported, who came out, and who will support. And I hope to be on for some of these fabulous sessions that are coming right after me. Tashia, may, may your words ripple throughout the universe, girl. I, I sat back and I was so entranced and I just, anytime I listen to you, I close my eyes and I am reminded of Maya and I am reminded of Opalanga. Mm. Oh, Opalanga. Opalanga. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, Ibaye and, um, Torun. Yes. I, I had no idea that you were Etef's aunt. Oh, I'm I love, love that beautiful soul. Yeah, I guess he, I am. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, his mother is, is an amazing woman as well and the, uh, the powerful work she continues to do now in the Bay. She's in the Bay mm. area and producing all kinds of incredible events and art events. You know, she's gonna be doing her work. And, and he is just so awesome. He is the uh, individual that my organization, the Innate Foundation chose to honor and recognize his work in 2022 mm. because he's planted gardens yes, all he across has. the nation. You know, he's yes. from gangster to gardener. Mm -hmm. And uh, and this is the work that I support uh, in the world and with our young people. I've had the opportunity to work with him for about 15 years. I met him when he was a youngster. Mm. And so it's been such a blessed journey to be one of his elders. And uh, and I just, just love y'all over here. And Aisola, um, my sister, who I had the great honor to work with in, when I was living in Colorado, and she was such an incredible leader with such great vision. Hi! Yes, Hi. yes, I yes, have, yes. I had to pop in. You had to. You had I to. Are. I was just going to say, we need to bring your sister in. in. And I was so, so honored when you say, because I just, what a gift. Thank you for bringing your gift to her many voices to this day and to this world. I, it, this is honestly the, these moments are what we are are here for. Is that, like you said, speaking healing and thank you so much. Please let us know how to donate, how to support oh, yeah. you, because we know that these beautiful technologies cost money, and mm -hmm. you know it takes a lot to do the work that we're all doing. So, please send me some links that I can post on my page for continued support of your organization. And this is my gift to be able to share with y'all annually. Oh, and, I heard uh, you say you would do a fundraiser. I'm like, I get to hear the play and now. The voices. Like, I wrote that down. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. My, oh, my you got to like, see all the props. <laughs> and I bring on the parsley and the fruit and the mangoes. It's so much fun. So yeah, I would no, love be amazing. to. amazing. All right, family. Well, thank you for having me again. And I look forward to some of the other sessions. I see you have a great lineup today. Yeah. Yes. That's Thank you. Blessings in you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.